some single wiper action. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. System check, driver's door open. That is true. But there's no other lights on. Huh. It's a jag, how is that possible? Ooh. Supercharged V8. Jaguar, just to annoy my British viewers. Mm, it sounds really nice. Idles beautifully. But I want to hear that supercharger whine, so let's take this out for a little drive, shall we? It's not every day I get to drive a X300 Jag XJR supercharged with the proper wheels. The, the fuel tank up there on the, on the deck lid area. XJR. Of course, it doesn't have the other fuel tank over here like the previous ones. Fancy with an extra speaker there to bounce that penny around. So this is not the super long wheelbase edition, so there's no tray table, so there's no great coupon, but you've got heated rear seats, which which might work, but probably don't. A decent amount of room back here with a nice armrest and um, various light components that have fallen down. But yeah, nice plush, you know, real wood, ashtrays that have probably been used because jag. All right. Let me get y'all mounted up. Let's take this supercharged Jag for a super drive. I don't have a lot of experience driving Jags, uh, quite frankly. I've only driven a couple of them. And I have a buddy, you've seen his warehouse on a previous video and his Unimog and some other fun stuff. And I drove one of his Jags, which was the first time I'd driven a right-hand drive car. He's got a bunch of them. And now Addicted Motors has also got a bunch of them and he's thankfully letting me try this one out. Uh, I've never used the J-Shifter because the only other one I drove was manual. So to drive, I can see the leaper out there on the hood, which is awesome. Let's see, the gas pedal's like really buried. There it is. Good to find the gas pedal when you're trying to drive it. This also has the, the one single wiper, which I'll, I'll get a picture of in a little bit because that's awesome. Oh, weird. The turn signal is that like electronic sound. It's not a relay clicking, but it's like coming from a speaker. Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. These windows up a little bit here. That sounds awesome. Uh, it's just, see the, the hood rise up a little bit because it's not a soft riding vehicle. It is a Jag after all. And the leaper just kind of go up just a little bit there. Just a tiny little bit of, you know, leaper coming up on there when the, that insane sound of the engine just pops off. It's great. Uh, Addicted Motors has been having a few problems with this. Uh, he picked it up pretty cheaply. I don't know. If you've watched his videos, you should. Uh, he just hit a thousand subs on YouTube and is starting to make some money off of this. So that's going to do nothing but make him buy more um, uh, cars like this and more, more garbage. So, um, but someone's got to rescue these things. He's had wheels refinished or um, straightened and new tires put on and he's gotten rid of all the lights. It's only got 110,000 miles on it, which in a normal car wouldn't be a problem. But this is a 20 plus year old Jag X300. Um, yeah, I, he and I both de detest feeling steering wheel shimmy when you're driving. If the steering wheel is doing this, you know, when you're driving, there's something wrong. And we both hate that. Um, and I feel, I thought I felt a little bit of it, maybe. Yeah, I can definitely feel it now. I mean, the car was sitting for a little while, but it's warm out, finally. This May has been brutally cold here in Virginia, which is weird because I spent two weeks before that in Florida, where I was in the 80s every day. But, uh, yeah, this, I mean, it, it's not the quietest car at the moment because some of the trim is, you know, loosened up over the years. But that's to be expected. And, you know, it's a 20 plus year old car. But when this was new, this must have been absolute amazing ride. When you think about it, it's got a supercharged V8. Most cars weren't doing that back then. You got, you know, a big straight six or just a regular V8 in your Mercedes or, or your BMW. They didn't have superchargers or turbochargers back then in any BMW. I mean, you got the 540i with the, you know, the 4.4. That's all she wrote. This thing, though, you've got that beautiful sound from that engine. You've got the, the, the multiple surfaced hood because the hood, or I, I can say bonnet because it's British, has a lot of different layers to it. And then you've got the leaper out there. 
and uh, and squeaky brakes. But I mean, the the interior is you know oldie worldy as they would say on Top Gear, and they hated that about Jags from this era. I don't know why. Jags from this era were what they should be: a comfortable, fast car that had luxury trimmings in it. The the world walnut everywhere. And the doors on the, the panels where the, the power window switches are, the, the soft leather. Now, this is a little bit sportier because it's ye oldy XGR -y with the, the supercharger, but uh, this is when I think of a Jag. There you go. Um, you know, I, I know their sales haven't been doing very well at the moment. Um, maybe, maybe they should go back to basics. I don't know. What do I know about cars? I just have a YouTube channel where I talk about them, and uh, you know, that's just me. But um, when I think of Jags, right here all day long oh yes uh, this has all the luxury accoutrements for the era nothing modern it's got a tape deck you know there's no sat nav there's no air conditioned seats uh, they'd all be broken anyway um, I'm reluctant to turn the AC on because I don't know if that works and I don't want to break something so uh, but yeah um, I highly recommend driving one of these if you can just that little scoot I, I did down there on the uh, on the main road to the construction zone told me that this is absolutely a blast to drive uh, I can imagine just scooting down the interstate or, or the, the motorway as the case may be in one of these and that turn signal is just hilarious to me it sounds so artificial um, and so unexpected in a car that's this old um, maybe if it was German although they would have made it sound right because they probably would have done more testing on it funny and then the j-shifter i mean how cool is that single wiper action <laughs> it just makes me laugh i grew up with a w124 mercedes my dad had and it had the single wiper but it had the the cam in it that made it clear basically the whole window uh, that's not happening here plus the awesome j gate shifter i mean you just don't find anything like that anymore nobody makes that anymore oh it sounds so good I just turned on the AC, so I'm getting a little sweaty, and it's blowing cold, huh? I mean, a little bit. Oh, oh, the fan's starting to spool up. You can probably hear it now. It's it's blowing kind of cold. It's it's blowing air on me that's cooler than the air that's in here. So I'm gonna call that a success by 1990s uh, British car standards. The last 1990s British car I had was my Range Rover Classic. Uh, that would blow air. But the AC, no way. But it also had the the fun like hamster wheel in the uh, in the heater, so or in the in the blower. So when you turn the the vent on on a hot day, it goes squeak 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 squeak. This this is not doing that. It's not that much newer than my Range Rover, which of course also sat in a field for 15 years in the sun without ever being driven. But uh, it's nice that that works. No lights on the dash still. Uh, in Troy's last video, there were multiple lights on the dash, so he must have done something to get those. I don't see any electrical tape over the lights, so he must have actually fixed those. This is a very pleasant place to be. I mean, cup holders and armrest that lifts up. Yep. Can of sea foam in the back seat, of course, because addicted motors. And now the lights change, and I can actually enjoy this a bit more. Like this thing. Yeah, got it out of the way. Excellent. Oh yeah. Okay. I get it now. I knew why people like these, but I didn't get it, and now I get it. And absolutely, this thing's a blast. <laughs> Just stab with the throttle. Hear that awesome from the engine, and you're and you're gone. And it's not a modern car. It's not got 500 horsepower like a new one, but this is a lot more fun for a 50th of the price now granted it's going to break severely and catastrophically regularly uh, but I mean let's be honest most cars that are over 20 years old are gonna have those kinds of issues sooner or later so anyway like I said I got to drive this around because of uh, addicted motors and his channel give him a subscribe please give me a subscribe too because I am going to be bringing all kinds of fun content all year long um, and then beyond this year too because I don't know why I said that so thanks so much for watching y'all and uh, Doug's Cars will be back soon